Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and thanks for clicking on this video. Now before we get into the video, I want to take a moment to introduce myself. My name is Mabel and I have loads of content all around living in Dubai. I also do um, weekly vlogs of what my life is like. So if you're wondering what it's like to be a 20 something living in Dubai, working in Dubai, then you should definitely subscribe to my channel. Anyway, why has this video been like the most requested thing ever? Literally, I think that just goes to show how many people are considering JVC as a neighborhood to live in? I'm sure you already know because you clicked on this video. JVC stands for Jumeirah Village Circle and it's a neighborhood here in Dubai and it happens to be my home. I've lived here in JVC. We're in my apartment right now in JVC. I have lived here for one year and one month now. And um, I thought that makes me qualified to give you a bit of an overview of what it's actually like and answer some of the common questions that you're probably wondering. You're probably wondering about traffic. You're probably wondering about noise. You're probably wondering about amenities, what there is to do here. So we're gonna cover all that in the video. For me personally, I chose JVC because of the low cost. I spent three years living in Dubai Marina, and as you can imagine, that was quite expensive, but well worth it. That's a video for another day, another day though. We're not here to talk about Marina, we're here to talk about JVC. So quick introduction to JVC itself. I believe that JVC has actually been first developed more than 10 years ago in Dubai. In Dubai years, that's actually really, really old. But it's only in the past, I'd say, three years that it's had a bit of a resurgence and it's become very popular with expats. Partially because a lot of the other areas in Dubai have just got really expensive. Um, but JVC, I will put a little map right here so that you can see. JVC also has a really, really good location here in Dubai. Um, if you're not very familiar with Dubai, then don't worry too much. I'm going to try and give you a bit of an overview here with the map. Um, but you've got JPC. It's not too far geographically from a lot of areas in Dubai that you might want to um, hang out in. Dubai Marina, Dubai Hills, Palm. Um, it's not super near the airport, but they are opening another airport. Again, I feel like I could go off on so many tangents here. Um, but the chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably already know things like where JVC is and you want to know how bad is the traffic? <laughs> That's what everybody's been asking. But I want to start on a positive note. I'm going to start with the pros of living here in JVC. The biggest one being, of course, the fact that JVC is a little bit more affordable than the other neighborhoods in Dubai. Is it the most affordable? No. Is it, are the rent prices going up? Yeah. But it is still affordable for Dubai and I actually have a full breakdown of everything that I pay in one of my other videos so you can go and check that out. Um, but I would say this is probably number one on the pros list and probably the number one reason many people are choosing JVC to live. Second thing, the second point I would say is that JVC has a real community feel. I love Marina. I will always love Marina. Um, but I do think having so many high rise buildings and having all that traffic, that kind of thing, I think it can feel, it kind of gives more like sissy vibes. And obviously that's really fun and exciting, but I like that in JVC, it's got a bit more of a like suburban community, family orientated vibe. It's people walking their dogs. It's people with kids. It's a bit more chill. Um, and obviously that's just kind of personal preference, but like for me, I like that. That's really just the vibe that I'm on right now. I want to be able to just like walk around and, you know, it not be like dirty and like, I don't know. I just feel like JDC has a really nice community feel. So that's a big tick on the pros list. Number three on the pros list is probably got to be the kind of lifestyle that you can live here. For me personally, anyway, that JVC is actually quite a big neighborhood. And I think if you lived on one side of JVC versus the other, you would have a very different experience. But in my experience, I'm very close by to the biggest mall that we have here in JVC, which is Circle Mall. My review of Circle Mall would have to be probably like a good like nine out of 10. I'd say it's pretty amazing. It has everything you could need. 
It has an incredible gym, which I'm a member of. And side note, if you want me to refer you to said gym, let me know because I think I get like a free smoothie or something. It also has a cinema, which has just opened. It has a Spinney's. It has a Nesto. Those are both supermarkets. It has a pharmacy. It has a dentist. It has, what else does it have? Have. It has so much, honestly. The only reason I've not given it a 10 out of 10 is because I don't think it's as good for like actual clothes shopping. I think it's got like a Forever 21, a Cotton On. Uh, yeah, it's not got like H&M, Zara, any of that kind of thing. Um, but you know, it's got food spots. It's got nice coffee shops. Lots of people work from there. It's got co-working space. So having all that on my doorstep is amazing. And that's why it's made the pros list. I think it's amazing. JVC also has so many parks. This is probably what you've heard about JVC. And let me just confirm that this is true. There are so many parks in JVC, so many parks. And I think this is to make, create a community that like, you know, has these like uh, outdoor areas that people can spend time in. In my local park, there's a running track. So I go for runs around there. There's always people running and walking, which I think is really nice. There's also a dog park right next to it where people can walk their dogs. And um, there's also a children's play area. So I feel like that invites a really nice sense of community into JVC. So amenities in JVC, I feel like is a big yes. So in fact, I would say the, an, the another big pro is that there is these green spaces. Um, and that's really nice. It kind of feels different. I was comparing it to Marina, obviously for me, Having lived in Marina, that's like the main thing I can compare it to. But I feel like it really creates a nice vibe is having these green spaces. Another huge pro of JVC, in fact, I guess I kind of touched on this at the start, but just this location, honestly. And I think if you're trying to get to other places in Dubai and you need to kind of get onto the highways quickly and or you need to travel around, I do think the location is very convenient. Um, but more on that later. Another massive pro to JVC is that when you're moving here, the chances are the building that you're going to be in and the apartment or even the villa that you're going to be in is probably going to be really new because literally they are building so much here. I am looking out my window and I can see so many construction sites. Obviously, I'll talk about that in the cons list in a moment, but there are so many new buildings. They are literally opening all the time. Um, and one of the things that I really love about my apartment is that it's modern. It's, you know, really like modern design. All the bathrooms are new. The kitchen is new, which is kind of amazing, especially when you're used to Marina, which I feel like all the Marina buildings have such old features in them, old tile, old kitchens, which is just not a vibe. Let's move on to the cons. I know this is what you all joined this video to see. Um, and I'm going to start with the one that um, honestly people ask me about the most, which is what is the traffic like? Hey guys, the thing to know is that the traffic is bad. Okay, it is bad. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It is bad. Why do I like living in JVC? Well, I can remote work and I only have to travel to my office. I don't even have to. It's a choice but I go there two days a week. So I feel like I'm okay, I'm safe. But honestly, if I was commuting every day and I had to sit in traffic on Hester Street, I would not do it. I would not want to live in JVC. But that, say, that said, if you're weighing up traffic versus paying more for your apartment and having to live in downtown or JLT or wherever your office is, I think that's just going to be something that you personally need to decide, but I'm not going to pretend that the traffic is okay here in JVC because honestly, the traffic is a nightmare. When I have been showing my family around Dubai or on holiday, you know, like taking a break from work and I'm going to hang out in places like the Palm, um, I always try to time it so that I'm not traveling to and from JVC in peak hours in the week because the traffic can just be horrendous and in fact it doesn't even just have to be um at peak hours i came home from a, a night out at the weekend and because there had been an accident the whole road was back up we were literally it took us about an hour and 20 minutes to get back from the palm which is so not a vibe like i said i personally don't mind 
it here because I work remotely. And I feel like if you work remotely, then JVC, you're going to love it because you, we can just stay here. We can just stay here. We don't need to leave. We don't need to get in the car and sit in traffic. But that is not for everyone. Um, I also, if you have already put your deposit down in JVC and your office is in, I don't know where, then don't be this house and you can be clever with your timing. You can set off early, you can set off later. I do have a friend that does it. She complains about it, but she gets it done, you know, like, and actually they are doing work on Hesse street, which is the nightmare street from hell that always gets traffic on. They're actually doing some work to improve this. So maybe you'll come back to my channel in six months or even a year and it might be totally fixed. Also, I've noticed that the traffic gets really bad around Circle Mall um, in the evenings, especially at the weekend. So that's also something to bear in mind. Let's also talk about getting around. I'm going to say that this is a con when it comes to JBT because there is not a metro stop here. As far as I know, there is no public transport. I've lived here for a year and I've never got any public transport to and from JBC. I don't think that that is a thing. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but there is not any way to get here and via public transport. That said though, you're probably thinking, okay, well, how, how, what, I have to get a car? A car? No, actually, I don't have a car and I've lived in JVC for a year and some people I know will be watching this and I'll be like, Mabel, how do you survive in Dubai without a car? Like I literally just do, like I said, I work remotely and I find Kareem's and national taxis to be quite affordable so for me I don't mind ordering a taxi whenever I want to go somewhere um but like I said this is all just like lifestyle preference I'm just giving you my experience but yeah public transport is a no so that means JVC can be more difficult to get to and get from it really depends what your like day to day, -to -day schedule is going to look like I briefly mentioned it earlier, but now let's talk about the construction that's happening here in JVC. There is so many new buildings and being built all the time. I keep looking this way because I'm literally looking outside of my window and I can see a brand new building that just opened and new foundations being laid for another one right next to it. There is literally so many new buildings. Is this kind of annoying? To be honest, it is. Like when I'm walking, not in the park, it is kind of annoying because there's always, what do you call it, building work. Why am I having such a mind blank? They're doing construction work and they have all these construction vehicles and they have all these people walking around. Obviously, they're just doing their job. But like, I can imagine if you are, um, you know, wanting to walk around a lot or you, you know, like you're walking with your children or what that, that kind of thing. It is kind of annoying. There is going to be dust in the air. There is going to be people around. There is going to be construction building um, vehicles. So yeah, that is the truth of it. There is a lot of construction here. I think uh, even though I am literally surrounded by construction, I cannot believe how quiet it is in this apartment. And I do think that most buildings, you, like you won't hear it, um, which I think is great. Because in Marina, I was, um, it was way noisier. But with the tram, and with the mosque and all sorts, like it's a much noisier environment. Whereas here in JVC, it does feel more peaceful, even with the construction. So that's kind of a, a con, but to me, it doesn't bother me that much because maybe I'm just used to it. I don't know, maybe I am just used to it. Another con of JVC, I would say, is that there isn't really any like nightlife here, really. Um, obviously this is a lifestyle thing, but What's quite nice about some of the other areas in Dubai, downtown on Marina, is that you've kind of got some of the most amazing restaurants and nightlife that the world has ever seen. And, but that that's not really a thing in JVC. If you want to go for like a nice date night or you want to go out with the girls or you want to go celebrate something, then you're not really doing it in JVC. You're probably going to be getting a taxi, you're going to be going downtown, you're going to be going to Marina, you're going to be going to the Palm. Um... But that's not to say, like, I still feel like I go to amazing restaurants and, you know, or enjoy everything that this city has to offer, even though I don't live right by it. So that's a con, but I feel like it's very, it, you can work around it. So do I think you should move to JVC? Well, I'd say it really depends on what you're looking for. I think personally, if you are new to Dubai, then you might like to maximize your experience by living in one of the more busy areas where there's more to do. I think I just had the best time ever living in Marina when I first moved here because 
I was so excited. I wanted to do something literally every day. I, I feel like now I'm exhausted just thinking about it. But at the time, I was so excited to be able to have all these amazing things literally on my doorstep and be able to walk around and just see the city lights, the marina, like looking amazing, all the yachts. I, w I felt like I was living in a movie. It was really my main character moment. So if you're brand new to Dubai, I kind of feel like you maybe just if you can obviously I know the rent prices have gone up since I first moved here six years ago but if you can I do think it's worth it to splurge and be somewhere where you're in the action but if you're watching this and you're like no I'm not that kind of person I literally don't mind I just want somewhere affordable homely cozy community vibes then KPC, I feel like it's great. Um, then the only thing you have to worry about is your commute to work or wherever you're, whatever you're going to be doing. Because I think if you work, work remotely, like I said, like me, then I think we are we are sound, we are good. Mm. But yeah, if you are sitting in traffic every day, then I don't want that for you. I don't want to wish that on you. I don't want you to come back here and say that I told you it was going to be okay because I don't know. And that was my video all about JDC. I, if you want to actually know what my day life is like, then just go watch my vlogs. I post a new vlog every single week, all about my life here in Dubai. Um, I'm also on Instagram and TikTok. You can go follow me there. And yeah, I hope this helps a lot. Um, if there's anything I missed, I'm sorry. Let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to come back to you. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.